Hi, uh, my name is Smikda. I'm uh, a data engineer, and I've been in this field for about 10 years now. And uh, I know right now the buzz is all data science, chat GPT, machine learning, and those things. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what goes into it, like all the uh, dirty work that we do to make the algorithms or the models work. So, OK. So basically, data engineering is identifying what data you need and where it's available, and kind of like get it all into one place, do your logic, and then kind of like, you know, make it available for its actual goal, which is usually uh, business intelligence. And business intelligence is where you build reports and uh, give the stakeholders a comprehensive overview of how your business is doing, or like answer a set of questions that um, they have, and the other one is machine learning, and we um, send the prepped data to the algorithms or the data scientists who build different models and kind of like, you know, make the other, you know, actual magic happen. Uh, so if you talk about different steps, like I said, the first one is data ingestion, so like discover where the data is and kind of all bring it into like one specific place, and then we do the data transformation and uh, this is where we apply the logic. It could be some sort of aggregation or some kind of like uh, filtering or like uh, changing the data type on the text, or it could be like a more complex thing than that too. So uh, that's where the, uh, you know, the data transformation is where we do all that. And data serving, like I mentioned earlier, is like the last part where we actually use the data that we kind of like uh, cleaned up and then, you know, made it nice. So. Uh, so the data discovery part, it actually starts from like uh, talking to the stakeholders and trying to understand what the objectives are. So once you have that down, um, data could be in like all kind of different places. It could be like some sort of like marketing data or like uh, it could be some kind of like weather data. So we have APIs and then like relational databases and all sort of like different spots. And we identify that and then we try to like kind of like combine that data and uh, we like then we extract it and then integrate data from different sources. So um, like there was a business intelligence report developed on like just uh, getting Tableau data, I mean uh, Spotify data. So like just uh, web scrapes on Spotify data and try to uh, see what was the uh, current top list or like you know that kind of thing. And Tableau is one of the uh, BI tools that kind of like does all the nice uh, new stuff to make uh, BI interesting. And another important thing of uh, data engineering is like data storage. Like right now, um, it's velocity, veracity, and those kind of things. It's, we have like a ton of data. Some are readable, some are not. It's all in different places. And storing data is really important. <laughs> Sorry. So like for ChatGPT, um, I was reading for the ChatGPT3, there was about 175 billion uh, parameters that they used. So it needs to be stored somewhere. So data engineering, uh, gives the infrastructure, and it's like a precursor to data science. And uh, this is all the, uh, you know, the logic part we need to do with the validation, mapping, modeling, the data normalization, and like, you know, all the security kind, and the actual logic, the actual work happens in the data transformation part of it. And then, um, like I talked about it, business intelligence and analytics. So we help the decision makers or the stakeholders to kind of understand what's going on in their business operation and give an overall view of um, you know, the objectives of how we're doing and how it could be improved. And uh, machine learning and AI, like I said, input data to chat GPT or like say to Netflix or other uh, Airbnb, Uber, give them data so that they can do good things with that. So um, data science is all the buzz right now. Everybody likes it. It's all, you know, like magical right now. But uh, I would think like data engineering, you would do more than 60 to 70 percent of the work because identifying and cleaning the data, the analysis itself, like even within data engineering, the analysis part takes the most time. So like we prep it and then uh, you know send it off to the data scientist to do the, their work. So this provides a solid infrastructure and also like a precursor to uh, data science. And it also kind of helps companies to kind of like, uh, you know, up their, uh, scale their data. 
So uh, it could be like it, it could be a new company and they don't have a lot of data, but then uh, eventually when they grow, data engineering gives gives them the infrastru infrastructure to kind of like handle that. And uh, some of the examples um, for data engineering or like applications is like Netflix is one of the good examples where uh, the personalized recommendations about the you know content and stuff comes from like the real time data processing. And uh, they also need to store the data because it's a lot of like demographic data, promotional data, marketing data, so infrastructure for that. And then batch processing too. Uh, so there are like two kind of things you could do from data engineering. One is like, uh, like use historical data and kind of like uh, build intelligence based on that. And then another thing is like real time. So you have the data right now. And Netflix is one uh, example for that. And the uh, other one is Uber. Uber does everything that's mentioned here, and it also does like demand forecasting and real-time matching because you're in a location and you're trying to find someone, and then uh, you know it should be able to match you with the driver. So it does that, and demand forecasting also includes the uh, price surge and that kind of thing. And uh, I think to be a data engineer, uh, having a strong relational database knowledge is kind of like important and everything else uh, is, I won't say it's easy to learn, but definitely the uh, learning curve is kind of like easier compared to like development, kind of like, that's like my experience. So um, SQL Server, Oracle, DB2, those are some like common stuff. And then we have like ELT, ETL tools, those are like different pipelines. And uh, Informatica, Apache, and iFi, those are some newer uh, tools. And then we also have some real time Stuff. I think Netflix uses Kafka and Apache Storm, and we have BI tools like Power BI. Tableau is one of the most uh, famous BI tools right now, and um, Cognos. Cognos is not very famous. It's a very painful tool, but that's one <laughs> in there. So yeah, that's like a comprehensive overview of like data engineering and like how it's used to data science. <laughs>